take two. Hello YouTube. Been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick update, pack, pick up, pack ups video, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, I'm doing Movember, a complete twat. Um, I'll do the pickups first because there's not really a lot of them. First of all, Amazon have started selling all these like video game books. So I've got like Speculation and the one about graphic adventures. They basically just seem to be like Wikipedia articles reprinted with pictures and stuff. Yeah, fine, what I paid for them. Next thing, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know what I've got. With this top off, it's a BBCB computer. And if you were at school in the 80s or the 90s in Britain, you definitely would have used one. Um, the reason it's top off because the power supply they always have a similar capacitor start to fail. On mine, I just have to change one of them out. Uh, works great. Now I've done that. Also installed the um, I suppose you would call it like a compact. Like an SD card, um, basically acts as a hard drive or an external floppy drive. You put a, a ROM chip in, connect it to the user port at the bottom. What's that one there? And I've fit them in internally. Basically, you can put games in it, run programs from memory, runs really quick. Um, also, bought a USB a SCART cable from RetroKit, then connected to the one to TVs. It works fine. Got the welcome package. Uh, so yeah, bought one for a while. Oh, it's got a dust cover, but you know what a dust cover looks like. Bought one of them for a long time, so I picked myself up one of them. It's good, yeah. Um, the advertiser is working, and it was, but the power supply was nah, so 6 to 9 for a capacitor. At the time of the sorting, uh, that was fine. Updates, what's been going on? Uh, yeah. Moved the mine cave around a bit. It's not yet finished, so I'm not going to show off. It's been working, life's been really quite busy of late, taking up a lot of my time. Obviously it's getting closer to Christmas now, it's getting dark, it's dark like stupid o'clock, I'm coming to work just feeling tired. Nah. What else I'll talk about? Oh, comments and administration. <laughs> uh, popped into one in the day, the one that has a huge big closing down sale on it. Stuff's cheaper online. And apparently there's a guy down south who went into, every, who went into a comment and Use the Amazon barcode scanning app on everything that's on sale, and it, it worked out still 10 to 15 percent cheaper online. <laughs> yeah, so they're going to business. Uh, what else? Comments going on administration. Uh, oh, we use out in America. It's out here in about a week and a half. People are really quick to write off, oh, it hasn't sold out, so it's, oh, the Nintendo's going to go bankrupt and they're going to sell it. What? Fuck. See, things have been out two minutes. I've been watching a couple of um, reviews and stuff. Thank you, computer. Silent for that. Uh, what a, one of the ones I watched said that the system update, huge big thing, 5 gig. So if you get the 8 gig model, you're kind of fucked. Uh, apparently, if the system, if the firmware update doesn't get done right, as in you unplug a happy through, it'll brick the Wii. You. I still maybe want one, but I don't know how much of that's the, oh, it's the new console, has it been a new, new console in a long time? I think it'll sell well at Christmas because of that. I just quickly checked TV there. There's people selling pre-orders, or I don't know what they're doing. Some people are wanting 50 quid above. Other people are wanting 500 quid above. We'll see in the November 30th when they go on sale. I know Amazon no longer, if you order it now, they're no longer guaranteeing the least they launch. They haven't been guaranteeing that for almost a month. To be honest, I think I'll still like them in stores or online, not long after launch. Nintendo, I don't think they're going to try their alleged artificial stock shortages again. I think they need to pump this thing out as much as possible, get it in the hands of consumers before Christmas. Especially now the game seem more expensive. You're talking forty four ninety nine for the A list premium titles, I suppose. I need to play one. So we'll see. We'll definitely have a wee check of that. 
conversely, I've been reading a lot because the new rumour is P definitely the Xbox 360 next year and maybe the PS4. People aren't even excited for that. They're writing off the Wii. Oh, what a rubbish Wii U crap, stupid gimmicky, blah blah blah. blah. Then the Xbox and the PS4, they're like, oh, just more powerful. So I don't know what people want sometimes, but yeah. Hey ho. Uh, oh, both picked up that. <laughs> an Omega Zip disk. Still sealed. I basically bought an internal zip drive a long time ago. And I've I thought I'd buy one to make myself out with it. It was like a pound plus postage. In fact, no, it was 50 pence plus postage. Just not really been playing a lot of stuff online. I've still got a ton of games to be to fire up and play. Uh, oh, the Elite Kickstarter's up. Uh, Elite Dangerous, Elite 4. Or you're about 500 odd grand to just check the now. He wants 1.25 million pounds. I think he'll do it. I don't. I don't think it'll be as much a success as Star Citizen was. That was a huge, big Kickstarter success, crowdfunding. He got six and a bit million dollars. So we're going to get a new Wing Commander type game next in a couple of years, and hopefully a new Elite Four. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, not much else to say, guys. Uh, there'll be another video sooner rather than later. So catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.